hey there welcome so in this lecture i will discuss and work on an example that is related to the git fetch command now the git fetch command synchronizes origin master with whatever is on the remote repository now what is origin master so origin master is the local copy of the remote repository so let's get going with an example now i have created this repository demo fetch for you and let's check the contents of the working directory using ls so we have multiple files over here and let's execute a git log command so i'll retrieve an earlier command and just execute it so you can see over here we have three commits the initial commit is setting up of the repository and then we have two commits related to index.html and i have tagged the commit messages with the word local as you can see over here and our local repository has a remote counterpart or a remote repository so if i execute the command git remote dash v you can see our remote repository over here so when i execute the command git log dash dash one line it is equivalent to git log dash dash one line and then master since master is my current branch so let's execute it and if i want to check the log of the local copy of the remote repository then i just need to execute the command git log dash dash one line and then origin slash master so origin slash master is a local copy of the remote repository origin so let's execute this command press enter and well you can compare these two log output one is this one and the other is this one and you can see both our local repository master and local copy of the remote repository origin master are synced up they have the same number of commits and of course the same commit ids now this origin is actually on the github so let's get back to our browser and check the status of our remote repository so here we are in the remote repository on the github which is demo fetch and bbroy is the username now if i click on this commits section here you can see there are five commits so let me click on this one and well over here you can see the same three commits that were visible in our master and origin slash master in our local repository however it is pretty much visible that the remote is ahead of our local repository by two commits and so these are the two commits so we need to update our local repository and here comes the role of the git fetch command so let's get back to our terminal so let me clear the screen and let me re-execute the git log command that checks the commit history for local copy of our remote repository which is origin slash master press enter so now i will execute the git fetch command so git fetch now this is followed by origin and then master so origin is our remote reference and master is the branch on our remote repository now since we have only a single remote repository you can always omit this origin space master and git fetch only will be good enough if you had more than one remote repositories then of course you need to mention the name of the remote explicitly now to reiterate fetch command synchronizes origin slash master with whatever is on the remote repository now origin slash master 
does not automatically reflect with whatever is on the remote repository and hence we need to execute the git fetch command so let's execute it press enter and here you go so git has updated with six objects compress them unpack them from our remote repository demo fetch and these are the commit hash involved it updates from master on the remote repository to origin slash master which is local copy of our remote repository and now if i re-execute our earlier git log command we are in a position to compare these three commit ids against these five commit ids so these are the three commits which were already existing in origin slash master and after executing git fetch our origin slash master has been updated with these two commit ids now when you synchronize using fetch command it updates only origin slash master which is local copy of our remote repository it does not affect master or any non-remote branches in our local repository in any way at all so how do we get the updates that has been pulled down in our local copy of remote repository origin slash master to our local repository master so there is a way and we have to manually do that it does not happen automatically so the way is to do a git merge now you are already acquainted with the git merge operation so let's clear the screen so let's now re-execute our git log command press enter so now you can see the head points to master at this commit id and origin slash master is ahead of master by these two commits so this is a classic scenario where we can do a fast forward merge of origin slash master and master now remember that origin slash master is a branch which is just like any other branch only difference is that this is a remote branch and a remote branch is visible using git branch with the r option and of course if you do a git branch dash a you can view both the local and remote branches so let's do our merge operation so we are in the master branch and we'll merge origin master with the master branch git merge origin master press enter and here you go we have a fast forward merge and let's re execute our git log command so let me retrieve an earlier command press enter and here you go now both master and origin slash master are at the same level as a result of our successful fast forward merge so let me clear the screen now there are a few important points that i would like to mention here so do a fetch before you start your day's work so when you sit at your terminal in the morning you should always update origin slash master using your git fetch command so that you can see what work your other team members or collaborators have done secondly do a git fetch before you push to remote repository it is always possible that some other team member of yours have made the same commit as yours or there might be some conflicting commits that you are going to push so always do a git fetch before you do a git push and finally execute the git fetch command as frequently as possible to stay in sync git fetch is a non-destructive command and it updates the references only in origin slash master and does not affect any of the non-remote branches in your local repository 
including the master branch.